Ahí lo mando. Envíelo, compañera. Envíelo. Envíelo al grupo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Welcome. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Eh, ya los escuché que están plane planeando algo por ahí. How was your day, teacher? Uh, it's been really good. It's been really good. What about you? Uh, stressful. Stressful? Yes. Well, tonight's going to be... Tonight is going to be really good because you're going to work a little bit. You're going to create something in English. I will let you know in a couple of minutes, okay? So let us wait a little bit. Meanwhile, the rest of the people got her. Okay, let's wait a little bit, like a couple of minutes. Vamos a esperar siempre un par de minutos de tal manera que pues la mayoría logre conectar su tiempo. Solo voy a terminar de ajustar algunas, algunas actividades acá y ya luego nos conectamos al 100%. Unos dos minutos, dos minutos, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, ok. okay. Y ya estaban planeando. Que vamos Armando, a ir a la playa. <laughs> Armando, let me see your, your, your teacher. Sorry? What? Let me see your teacher. What teacher? Uh, your. Um, most teacher. Tu polo. <laughs> let ah, me see. Teacher. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, Transportes el sol. Yes. You were there? Yes. Um, I'm a service person, but I have um the name for you have this come you had this come for uh travel. <laughs> yes, uh bueno viajamos eh, de a gratis nosotros ahí, pero porque vamos no. viendo la información y, y lo el servicio y todo lo demás de hecho ya ahorita ya estamos terminando de, de revisar Guatemala, vamos a ir a a Nicaragua y Costa Rica oh. uh -huh. de hecho hay promociones bastante buenas ahorita de verdad y van miércoles y regresan miércoles a Nicaragua les sale a la mitad de precio el boleto y how sí. much eh, $60. $60? Yes. $60? Sí, porque por lo general cuesta $120. Ajá. Uh -huh. When were they go to Guatemala? ¿Cómo? When will eh, they go to Guatemala? Guatemala? ¿Cómo puede ir a Guatemala? ¿Cuándo? Every day. Oh, when, when. Oh. Todos los días. Y todos los días puede ir a Nicaragua. Solo para Costa Rica, solo jueves y sábado. Ok, oh. everybody. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have uh, 16 people, <laughs> which at least attendance in a very quick way. Then I will let you know, we're going to have some review about um simple past tense with regular verbs i will try to introduce irregular verbs and then you are going to create something okay so that's a, a surprise for you don't worry because i think one hour is going it's going to be enough and let me see the, today hey what is what's the day today today is wednesday wednesday the 13th so september the 13th right Okay, oh, uh, let me see. Uh -uh. It's over here. Ana Graciela. Okay, pretty good. Ana Graciela. Anderson. Present teacher. Como oyente, porque tengo malita mi mamá. Okay, Ana Graciela, don't worry. Don't worry. Armando Antonio. 
I'm here, teacher. Okay. Blanca Stephanie. Blanca Stephanie, are you there? Present, teacher. Okay, so give me a second, please. Present. Uh, I'm here. Uh, Carlos Aníbal. I'm here. Uh, Cecia. Diana Patricia. I'm here, teacher. Va entrando Cecia, teacher. Ah, Cecia, it just came. All right. Cecia, hello. Elmer Alexander. Elsa Noelia. Present. Flor okay. Floricia. I'm here, teacher. Ingrid. Jaime Iván. Karina. Carla Gabriela. Present teacher. Kenny. Here. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. All right. Maria Imelda. Present teacher. Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Marisol. Present teacher. Oh, Nelson. Present teacher. Rommel. Present teacher. Rommel, is Rommel here? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Ronald. Ronald. Wilfredo. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Ronald is something. All right. Very good. Okay, so we're going to start. Hey, how was your day, people? Somebody told me that you had a very stressful day. Uh, hopefully you have just uh, drank uh, some coffee because you know coffee makes magic. <laughs> I don't know if you if you believe so, but sometimes when we feel like very sleepy, it's really good to have a cup of coffee with you just by your side. That that really works. It really works. Okay, so let's get down to the point. We're gonna start by having some review about simple past tense. I will share the screen so that you can see the information I have here. Well, you know, tonight um, we're gonna see simple past tense by using a real verse. Yesterday we saw the pronunciation of the ED form, right? Do you remember about it? So, so. A little bit, so, but we talked about voiceless and voiced sound and all the stuff, and we discovered the way to pronounce the verbs and a regular verb. But tonight we're going to talk about irregular verbs, all right? So later I have, I have some extra information about it, and then you are going to create something tonight. Now let me let me know if you're able to listen to it. It's almost raining here. Can you listen? Can you no, listen? Teacher. No. Yes. Can you listen? No. No listen. No, you no. don't. So give me a second, please. Give me a second, I will try to share once again. It was my phone. If you want. No, yes, it will be this good. So do me the favor, we, we have some vocabulary. Irregular verbs. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I... What is the first one? I did my homework. I did my homework. In the negative form? I didn't, I didn't. I didn't do I didn't do the laundry. Listen. Didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at he 10. He went to the museum. 
He didn't go to the library. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You, you came. came home late. You didn't come home early. They had, they a, had picnic. a picnic. They All didn't right. have a party. Okay, so in English we have two types of verbs. No, the guy is going to explain about the two types of verbs that we that well yesterday I told you, right? That we have regular and irregular verbs, and the ones that we are just seeing over here are irregular verbs. Now and can you tell me about this this sentence, people? Can you read the information? Can you read the sentence? You can home online. I did my homework. Next one. I didn't do laundry. I didn't do the laundry. Next one. You get up at noon. You get up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. He went, he went to the museum. He went to the museum. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. He didn't go to the library. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. We didn't meet our teacher. You came, you came home late. late. You, you came home late. late. You didn't come home early. You didn't come home early. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They had a picnic. They didn't have a picnic. Okay, so the guy that's presenting, I think he's going to provide further information on the way to work with the regular groups. So pay attention, please. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs. We will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these chart you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense and the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, yeah. the past okay. is went, meet, when. the past is met, come, the yeah. past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense. Did. Finally we add a complement. Homework. To form negative statements we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement, laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. 
after you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so uh, you said information about irregular birds. How was it? It's birds. In our lab. It is not that difficult, right? So we got got up, went, had, came, met, did. So if I ask you about about base form, so you would know that we have this one. Look, if I say re, uh, base form of did, do, past, did. Past participle, don't. You're going to you're gonna use past participle, but later. Okay, do, did, don't. So where is the past? Did. Did is the past. Then we're gonna have like get. Let's, let's take a look at get. Get is the present. Got is the past. Got is the past. And gotten is the past participle. So that's about get, the verb get. Now, what about go? Go, we're gonna have go. Go, go, what is the past? Oh. When. When, where's the past participle? And gone. gone. Remember that we're using the verb in the past form, right? When. So then we have uh, meet. Okay, we have meet. Meet is the present. Past, met, met, and the past participle, met. met is the same. Good. Okay, so we have met, met, met. Let's see, the other one we have here is came. I mean, came. So the base form, come. Oh. Past, past, came, came. came. Past participle, came. Come. 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 Come, once again. Come. Good. And finally, we have have. Have is the base form, past, uh, uh, had um, is the past, uh, and the past participle is uh, the same. So uh, wh what do I mean? I mean, which is wh what is the point? That these verbs are totally different from the ones we started yesterday and the day before yesterday, because we have studied that regular verbs are all those verbs which ending is in ed, right? And actually, Yesterday, we started about the way we pronounce them. But over here, it is totally different because, you know, the base form of, of, of God is get, get, got, gotten. So in this way, I mean, in this, uh, in this sense, we're, we're in church of learning the verbs. There is no other way to succeed. Okay, but learning the verbs. So I will stop this and I will present a list of verse that I have I have looked uh, for yesterday. Then we have irregular verbs. Okay, there is a list. I will share the link so that you can study the verse. I have uh, the pronunciation, and so you will be in church of learning as much as many verbs as possible. You have the link. So you will, you will see the same information I have here. And uh, for example, I have this one. Arise. How do you pronounce that one? Arise. 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 Simple pass. Arose. 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 Arisen. 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 Okay. Arise, arisen. arose, arisen. Arise, arose, arisen. So the next one we have here. Be. Was. Was. Now pay beat attention, beat. Okay, beat. now listen carefully the way it is pronounced because we say beat, beat, say beat, beat is the same, but beaten, beaten, beaten. Look at this one. 
Begin. Oh, no, no, no. We have with become, become, become. 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 Became. Became. Become. Become. Begin. 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 We have around 200 verbs. So, right. Right. Good. Right. right. Okay, right. now I will switch into Spanish a little bit. Si ustedes se fijan, este listado tendrá quizás que unos 200 verbos. Y cada uno hay que aprendérselo bien, okay? Strike. Strike. Struck. 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 ¿Por qué? Porque todos los verbos nos van a ayudar a expresarnos con mayor claridad. ¿Ok? Son muchos más verbos que los que están aquí, pero es un buen inicio, un buen inicio para pegar este, eh, pasos más, un poquito más agigantados. Es bueno que, por eso les compartí el enlace, que se vayan aprendiendo que por lo menos unos de 10 en 10 memorizárselo porque el problema con los, los irregulares es que estos no siguen ningún patrón no es como los regulares que vimos ayer ¿verdad? El, el problema de los regulares son los tres tipos de pronunciaciones que, de que estudiamos, pero acá se complica todavía un poquito más porque cada verbo Can, go, went, went gone. gone cada verbo tiene que tres formas diferentes de give, gay, given, get, got, got. Eh, y miren este, el get, get, got, got. Se puede get, got, got. Y además pueden decir gotten. Ah, ok, so, si ustedes se fijan, hay uno que nos complica un poquito más. ¿eh? Porque inclusive tiene uno, dos, tres, cuatro pronunciaciones diferentes de un mismo verbo. Entonces, bueno, por aquí les dejo el listadito y me voy de puntilla retirándome y les dejo, <risa> <risa> y les dejo, y les dejo esa pequeña tarea, ¿ok? Yo sé que lo van a lograr. En, en realidad, eh, este grupo es muy, me sorprende porque vamos caminando muy bien. Vale, miren, para aprovechar el tiempo, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Ayer estudiamos verbos, ayer y antes estuvimos estudiando pasados simples, regulares, pronunciación, etc. Hoy hemos visto los irregulares. La gramática es la misma, ¿ok? Es lo mismo, solo lo que va a ir cambiando es la forma del verbo. Si yo quiero hacer una, una, una pregunta, did, did you fly? Or did it fly? It didn't fly. Ok, when did it fly? When. Y allí podemos ir jugando con, con, este, con este listadito de verbos. Entonces, para que ustedes se familiaricen mejor, eh, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Eh, fíjense que yo atiendo clases en la mañana y, le, y, y, y tengo, tengo niños, niños de entre 7 y 8 años. Y estamos viendo um, cómo crear cuentas. Entonces, pues yo pensé en asignarles la misma actividad a ustedes, solo que en inglés. Mm -hmm. So we have different parts of a tale. ¿Cómo dice el cuento en inglés? We're going to create a tale. Vamos a crear un cuento. ¿Qué va a tener ese cuento? Bueno, ustedes lo decidirán. Pero necesito que ocupemos... ¿Qué? ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántas estructuras gramaticales en pasado que podamos? ¿Cuánto tiempo le vamos a dedicar a esta actividad? 20 minutos. En 20 minutos creamos un cuento corto. ¿Ok? Pueden usar eh, la web, buscar... Si ustedes quieren buscar un cuento ya establecido, pues nada más vayan señalándonos dónde están las estructuras que, que hemos estado estudiando. Ok, se so, acá so message. ¿Ok? ¿Es it clear? ¿Estamos claros? Clear to sure. Sencillo como es. Ok, so, I will, I will give you like 
I think 20, 20 minutes will be enough. After those 20 minutes, we're going to listen to the tales that you have created. Okay, uh, if you finish, si os, acaso usted termina que en menos de 20 minutos, acá tenemos um, el manual, que el manual no debemos de olvidarnos de él, puesto que hay mucho ejercicio acá también. Eso es lo que estuvimos trabajando ayer. Actually, this is, this is about, about irregular pairs also, right? So we met, we, you came, we have buy, bought, read, 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 sat, sat, sat. So we have a lot of pairs here. And there's a conversation. Aquí está la conversación, pero yo no estoy solicitando que crea una conversación, sino más bien un cuento ahorita. Ya luego vamos con conversación. Okay, so you have 20 minutes from now. Tienen 20 minutos y luego voy a elegir quienes nos van a contar eso. Here we go. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> ya lo veo preocupado, uno ya están buscando la info. Okay, so see you soon.
I found one. You finish? I found. <laughs> Encontré uno. Me too.
Okay, time to work. Remember, well, actually, we have we're missing like um, ten minutes more. I mean, ten minutes, and I will start asking about the tail you have created. Okay, everybody, who got the tail? Not yet, five minutes, and then we will start.
Okay, now yes, right? So Armando, I can see that you already finished. Can you tell us about the tell you got? Uh, yes, I got. Okay, everyone. So if Armando is done, it's because the majority of you are ready now. So let's start. I will stop sharing. Let us listen to Armando. Right, so Armando, go ahead. Uh, it's titled a uh, greedy boy. Uh, their lives a twin brother called Sam, Sam and Tom. They were identical twins. Uh, even their mother found it too hard to differentiate between them during the initial months of birth. However, they were like two poles, and when it comes to everything other than their appearance. Appearance, they neither agree with anything, nor do they share even one single trait. Sam has no friends. Where is, where are, where is, where is for Tom, the world has friendship, them love it, Love sweets and some love to eat spicy food. Sam was mommy's pet and Tom was daddy's pet. While Sam was general, Tom was wealthy. As they grew up, their father wants to share his fortune equally. However, Tom did not agree, and he argued that whoever is more intelligent and strong will gain his, his her trust will than other. Some agree. Their father decided uh, to organize a comp competition between the two and they order uh, the two songs to walk as long as they can in and they sold return home before the sunset. Whoever covers the longer distance and returns home before sunset will get caught among of will a proportionate uh, to the distance they cover, they don't carry watch uh, to calculate time. Both start to walk a long way during sunny days. Some walk slowly and heavily, while some work uh, to win over some stars. So run instantly. The distance they covered until my moon will equal to the distance they would reach on before sunset. It was my moon, and some decided to return back as it could uh, reach home. Okay, Armando. Hello, hello. He walked to times longer distance than what Sam was covered and decided to return back before the sunset. He and the moon rises. He lost the race and was still defeated because of rhythm. Okay, you, you already finished, right, Armando? Yes. 
Okay, thank you very much. Hey, listen, it's raining over here, and I know it's raining somewhere there. Creo que algunos tenemos dificultades con audio. Voy a, levant, voy a alzar un poco la voz para que tratar de solventar la situación. Para, vamos a escuchar a dos voluntarios más. Ok, luego paso lista y vamos a ir tratando de cerrar la sesión con el PDF. Wilfredo, go ahead, Wilfredo. Wilfredo, do me the favor to raise the tone of your voice. Levantemos el tono de voz, por favor, para que todos podamos escuchar. Uh -uh. Hola, hola, creo que me sacó. Hello, Wilfredo. Hello, hello. Do you finish? No, no, no. Okay, okay, you can start. I'm oh, sorry, okay. but you can start now. They put them together and made a huge snowman. Oh, Christmas Eve. They looked at the snowman. He waved at them. He was he was alive. Hello, he said. It's Christmas. Will you like a present? Yes, please. The snowman weighed his arms. Silver crystal snowflakes. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. No, I feel the sky, it was so beautiful. We must give you a present too, say Katie. They gave the snowman a carrot for a new. Uh, goodbye, he said. Build me again next year. Finish. So I think you're ready to finish, right, Wilfredo? Okay, so Diana, that's your phone. Diana. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, my, my, tail, my tail is an ant and the grasshopper. The history tells uh, of a grasshopper who lays around the The benefits when the times are bad. Finish. Okay, thank you very much. Is there anybody else who wants to, who wants to participate? Is there anybody else? Thank you, Tayana. Thank you. Yes, hello, hello. Uh, okay, Aníbal. Go ahead, Aníbal. Cinderella, I... Heart of England. He had two sisters. They were very younger. She got up every morning, at sit, preparing 
the brave ex for his sister and they clean the house. So she worked her all day. It's to uncle's sister were very late. They never uh, did any work because Cinderella died twenty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm at the problem. <laughs> 